Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I have a video about my five most used bags since January 2023. So if you're interested in all of that, please keep watching. Let's get started. Ding ding. In no particular order, my first bag up is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandelier, the My World Tour Edition, which I got with the black trim. If I were to sum up the number one reason it was one of my most used bags since January 2023, I would say it's because of the word easy. It is easy in terms of use, easy to pair, and easy to be carefree with. It is large enough to hold a bunch of things, including my daughter's things. And so I didn't really have to think too much just to grab it. And that I think is why I was using it so much. Also the fact that I was able to get my band, uh, the bandolier part of the band, replaced from Louis Vuitton, not for free, but for a fee. And there's a video about it somewhere down on my channel. Like, go check it out if you're interested. But yeah, I feel like that kind of gave me... Um, a new spark of interest in it and it just yeah i don't see the spruce i don't see the speedy 30 being worn as much these days so i think that also kind of um pushed me towards wearing a little more definitely not groundbreaking but i find that i gravitate towards larger bags in the colder months versus the warmer months what about you guys in the colder months, I also think a big bag helps balance out the proportions of larger outerwear etc etc so i think that's also a bonus do, 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 Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do, do. Ding, ding. Next up on my five most worn bags is my Delvo Cool Box Nano in the color Vegetal. It is my first and only bag from Delvo, and I absolutely adore her. She is so, so beautiful, really stunning in person. Now, the reasons I wore my Delvo Coolbox Nano so much, I think the reasons are really similar, and I think this is going to be across all my bags. It's essentially down to um, aesthetics, as well as, honestly, the carefreeness. How many ways I can wear it? Does it have a top handle? Does it have a crossbody strap? Also, uh, is it relatively fuss-free? The material, is it not going to be too delicate? Is it going to be able to um, withstand the rain? And that is because in the winter, it does snow a lot in Toronto. Not as much as maybe, say, somewhere like Montreal or Alaska, but it snows quite a bit. So those are really important factors. Also, for a micro bag, I mean, Nano is actually in the name. It can actually hold quite a bit, which I find always super helpful. Honestly, I love this bag so much. It is so stinking cute and also just it's amazing the quality You guys definitely have to try out double if you haven't already All right next on my list of most worn bags since January 2023 is my Speedy 20 <laughs> I know another speedy, but honestly, I feel like speedies are just such versatile, such classic Audrey Hepburn, blah, blah, blah bags. You know, I'm biased. I'm not, I'm not going to hide it. Now, my reasons for wearing it so often are pretty much the same as the above two, uh, carefreeness, but I will give it half a point or a full point lower in terms of carefreeness because it is vachetta and raw vachetta at that. So especially on days I know it might snow, I would definitely not wear it or rain. But I really do think the Speedy 20 is super cute and a great everyday bag. Now my fourth most used bag is my Louis Vuitton Micro Made Tea in monogram canvas. This is a super, super micro nano bag. Honestly, can only hold my cards, like a lipstick, my key fob, but that was exactly why I used it so, so much. Whenever I would need to do really quick errands, hop in the car and go somewhere real quick, like the supermarket, drugstore, what have you, then I would wear my Micro Made Tea. Because it is so flat and so small, it was actually really easy to wear crossbody under my jackets, which made it really easy because generally if I'm doing a quick errand, let's say dropping my nanny off at the station, then I wouldn't actually need to take out my cards or anything. So I would just have my key fob in there, have that under my coat and everything and just be off. Super cute and a lot more useful than I thought it would be, honestly. All right, and my fifth and last most used everyday bag is my Hermes Rita Brack in the size large. The version I have is the one with the zigzag kind of a herringbone 
canvas strap and I've mentioned this in my previous video um, in my unboxing video and such that this isn't actually a handbag technically it is a toiletry bag but a lot of people use it as a handbag and I honestly think it really works super well in that category I think it looks really chic and most importantly it's such an easy grab and go it could fit a ton of things importantly my daughter's snacks so I used it a lot for running errands with her especially to her um, weekend classes the dark color as well as the size I thought made it much much more carefree than say a version in a crew and in a small size and I think this bag is so great it's really all season when I pulled out my five most used bags since January 23, I must say there's actually quite a similarity, um, not in terms of size or brand, but in terms of the uh, colorway of the five of them. I think the majority, four of them at least, were basically warm brown toned. I consider monogram canvas warm brown toned. Three of them were monogram canvas. One of them was essentially uh, something so really similar to Hermes Gold. It's the Delvo uh, vegetal color. And then one of them was um, the Hermes Noir Brita Breath, right? So basically everything was leaning towards neutral. I'm wondering if that was because it's winter and honestly where I'm from, um, in Canada, specifically Toronto, uh black and neutral colors kind of reign supreme it's really quite um a not colorful city in that way fashion wise and also plus the summer not summer <laughs> the winter months i wonder if that affected it and going forward now that it's getting warmer sun's kind of popping out here and there I wonder if i'm going to go back towards pink and other more fun colors so it'll be interesting to see how the next half of the year, what kind of bags I'll be carrying then. I hope this video was interesting to you. What do you think about my five most used everyday bags? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Janet. Ding, ding. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.